here with Johnny Wellen, just won the first round of the Rear Naked Show. Johnny, I don't know if you knew, but the crowd was cute with Johnny and Johnny. How did that feel? Oh man, it motivates me so much. I know I got people behind me. And I mean, they might, they may not think so, but it means a lot. Who do you have to thank in this big win? Oh, uh, everybody at Purcelli's Training Center. Anthony Purcelli, uh, Chris Avery's big help, Eric Houseman in the fighting later tonight. I couldn't have done it without them. Ben Crowder, I mean, everybody there. They pushed me to where I couldn't go before, it helped. What was your mindset? I mean, right on the belt, being with the ref, right? slapping the hands. I mean, what was it going through your mind? I was just playing on feeling them out. I was wanting to stand up with them a little bit, but it came out a little wild. I clinched up with him, so I just used my wrestling and took him down and went from there. Here with Chris Avery, put up three strong rounds, win by a judge's unanimous decision over Brian Rowe. Chris, how you feeling with that big win? I feel awesome, man. I'm just glad I could get the stamina to all three rounds and to come out with the finish. You definitely had the fan support as you know, man, and to cheer your name. Uh, what does that mean to you? It means a lot to know that. I got a lot of friends and family that came out here and here for me. Now, how is training been going for you at this fight? What have you been doing to get ready for? I've been uh, working a lot on my cardio, man. I just wanted to make sure that I could make all the rounds. The last fight wasn't prepared for that. This fight I was. Here with Brian Alden, winning the first round by armbar. Brent Bates. Brian, I know you wanted this fight, you wanted this matchup. How do you feel about the win? I felt, I felt really good. I worked a lot on my ground game, you know. I knew he was. He had the same fighting, fighting style as me, so that means I just had to push my ground work a lot harder, you know. I, I, I wanted to get in a stand and bang fight, but when I got in there, I didn't know if I was too sure to want to stand and bang the whole three rounds, so I figured, you know, he hit me once, I hit him once. We didn't know how much power we had, you know, I just figured out to how my ground game would work out. Now, I heard through the great fight you had a hard time reaching weight, but you reached it and you were able to fight. You know, how would your training go and how are you able to get to it? You know, my training went really good. I, I worked a lot on my ground game, you know, I worked with Mike Van Meer, Charles Diaz. You know, I was up at the one Jiu Jitsu a few times, you know, working with Jason Lewis, Jeff Lewis, you know, some of the best Jiu Jitsu guys, you know. Um, my weight cut went, you know, decent, you know. I used to walk around 215, you know, so I cut the 95. I, did, I, had, a little, I had a little trouble making weight. Um, I, you know, I had to test some weight the day of, of weigh-ins, you know, after weigh-ins, but I made it to 195 when we made it happen. Do you have any idea what matchup you want now? Uh, I don't, you know, whatever they throw at me, you know, I kind of got what I wanted, you know. I big pass and Halverson for this fight. They gave it to me, so we'll see what they got in store for me next. Here with Justin Fuse, who just defeated Jim Finney in the first round by a verbal submission on the foot. And uh, Justin, how do you feel about your matchup? Man, I feel great. It is kind of like what they said. I felt like I was going up a critical hog there. Going back to your training, how did your training go? And how were you uh, well prepared for this match, physically and mentally? You know, I haven't really been no camp. Nobody, you know, professional training me or nothing. But I took what I got from uh, Elite Edge, brought it out to Woodward, the wrestling room, and uh, had a couple guys come out there. And 90 degrees, two hours long. Tonight you definitely had the sparks going. You got the crowd pumped. I mean, everyone was getting wild. How do you feel about that? I come out every time trying to do five tonight. If it's a shorter than that, then it is what it is. But I'm ready to go for war every time. Here with Alex Sobey, who came all the way from Kansas City, despite suffering the loss against Courtney Miller, you put up an incredible fight. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel okay. Um, I really could have went had the circumstances been better. Um, this is a short notice. Had been in the gym. Um, but I'll, I'm happy to take any fight. Um, I was shocked it could have been different. But I am semi happy with my performance. Uh, I felt I was in my corners. And uh, I did what I knew how to do. Uh, Try to stay out of trouble. I mean, just for being a last second replacement, like again, you put on one incredible performance. The fans, everyone, the fighters, and every single person on the MCC staff appreciated what you just did, your fight, how you did it, and what positive takeaways can you take going forward into the next match with your next match? Um, I do think there was a lot of positive. It was a great uh, show to be on, and I'm privileged for that. Um, the fans were great. It was a great uh, venue. Um, but I, I did learn lessons in sportsmanship, and uh, being proud of myself. I'm here with Courtney Miller, who just defeated Alex Stobie in uh, three full rounds by unanimous, unanimous decision. Courtney, just like your walkout song, you were the girl on fire. How do you feel about your performance? Uh, it felt great. I wanted to finish the fight, but I just wanted to go down with a lot of heart. And I was yes. And he was here, so that was very motivating.
did you think your opponent, Alex Stubbe, did being the last set of I mean, it's overall coming out to fight. She did awesome. She knows nothing about me. She days notice. She did awesome. What positive takeaways can you personally take away from this match? Um, yeah, it was just successful. It's throwing more punches, not doing the give and take thing. Like I said in my interview with you, I just came out being as aggressive this time. And here with Will Shutt, he had just defeated Gino DiGiulio in three full rounds by a judge's unanimous decision. Will, how do you feel about your match? What do you have to say about your opponent and the way you fought? Uh, well, I'm happy with the fight. It went all three rounds. Uh, it was a lot on the ground, a lot of grappling. I uh, thought we had some action. It was a few points where I think the crowd may have booed a couple times. But, I mean, it was a tough fight. We were doing a lot of technical stuff. I don't think everyone in the crowd was able to see exactly what was going on on the ground. But it was a great technical fight. Um, I watched uh, Gino's last fight back in January. I was real impressed with his performance. He went all three rounds, too. And, uh, he's just a real tough guy. He's got a great ground game, good stand-up. I don't want to get too flashy or take any risks because uh, my condition is a little bit of a factor coming into the fight. And, uh, I don't want to go out there and do something foolish and get caught because uh, he's a really good grappler. If I gave him the opportunity, he would have finished me real quick. So I'd be a little careful. It wasn't uh, as action packed as I'd hoped, but I still think we gave uh, the crowd a good fight. It sounds like your experience did play a big part in this matchup and getting the victory. And you also announced that the crowd is here at last MCC event. What do you plan on doing next? Um, here in a couple months, I'm going to be moving out to uh, Oahu, Hawaii. I live with a good friend of mine out there and train with him. And uh, I don't know, just uh, play by ear from there. If uh, the MCC ever wants me to come back, I mean, I'd love to come back and fight, but we'll see. Here with Prentice Wolf, he just defeated Eric Hauser in the first round by knockout, 37 seconds in the first round, first round rather. Prentice, how do you feel about that fight? Oh man, I just, I don't know, I was real happy. You know, I knew he was tough and I really wasn't expecting that, even though know, it was my game plan. But it just feels really good to get back on the winning track. I mean, what other pauses can you take away from that fight and that victory? Oh, Take a kick to the head. <laughs> I don't know. I just I think I got better mentally, and you know, I just gotta keep it up and get better from here. When you were preparing for this fight, how? What did you? What were you focused on during training, and uh, you know, how were you prepared? Oh, I was mainly focusing on grappling or jujitsu because that's where my weakness is, and just. Cutting weight and trying to get in shape. So my training consisted of. Luis Saldana just defeated Mitch Parker in the first round by an inverted triangle. Now, Luis, for me personally, I was really excited about this matchup just because of the fact that Parker. Uh, pretty much, how did you feel about this fight and you know, what takeaways do you have from it? Uh, I felt alright about it when you know, they announced it because I knew I fought him before. So then just him calling me out, I'm just kind of like, I was like, oh, whatever. Well, I felt comfortable coming into it, and uh, I knew, like, I already knew what he did, so I just really checked out all the parts of my game and it worked out. For training, what did you really focus on, and uh, how do you think that better prepared you for, the, for this matchup tonight? Uh, just my jiu-jitsu. I, I, want, I actually wanted to get a submission fight, and I did. First try, so it worked out good. As always, you always have a huge fan support, a huge fan base. What do you have to say to that? Uh, just thanks, thanks for the support, you know. It you know, keeps me motivated. When I go out there, I hear all the crowd, it just it turns me up and uh, gets me going. Here with Josh Christensen. He had just defeated Dean Bradley in the first round. Josh, how do you feel about your matchup? Uh, I feel amazing. Uh, I fought through some adversity. He had me in a lot of bad situations. And heart and my corner got me out of those situations. What was it like to you? I mean, the crowd was on their feet when you were basically in, a man, in the driver's seat, ready to win the match. What was it like to have you cheat your name and everything? It's, it's pure adrenaline. You know, whenever I get a dominant position, I hear the roar. That made me go that much harder. I have the best fans in the world. Yeah, and all your family in attendance, too. What did that mean to you? Oh, that means the world. You got two brothers and a sister. My parents and I have 13 nieces and nephews that don't miss one of my fights. My family's here for me every second.
off Mario. He just defeated Jesse Lund in the second round of the co-main event matchup. Uh, Rob, how do you feel about the big victory tonight? Uh, I feel great. Uh, I, was, I was injured coming into this fight. I uh, torn cartilage in my ribs uh, two weeks ago, so I had to stick with this one. I am Haas, uh, was working with me, but I had to stay here, so. One of the good things that you did in this match that you can take forward towards your next matches? Uh, try to keep it on the feet. Uh, and then I just, I, re I remember all the bad things, so it's kind of hard. I know all the bad things from the coach, you know what I mean? Get lazy, keep my hands down, stuff like that. Uh, that's, that's a bad sign. Well, you did a great job. Best of luck. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, I went fight for MCC. And uh, we said I hope uh, Ryan Harris comes the back. I uh, knocked out uh, former champ. Can um, I take with you? Uh, Mike Van Meer uh, at MCC 40. And uh, uh, a month ago, I knocked out former champ uh, Alan Roberts. We lost to Jesse. And then uh, now Jesse. So. Yeah. I'm just about to be around here for you.